Hey guys, so this year I am on a mission. I've been going to every major gym chain in Australia and today we're up to Crunch Fitness. So as I do in all of my reviews, I make sure that I actually go down to the gym so I can give you guys the best possible users, members review of the facility, okay? So today, Crunch Fitness, okay, what we're gonna be talking about is the pros, the cons, and also if you stick around to the end, I'll be letting you know all the prices and whether Crunch Fitness is actually the best gym for you. So the first positive of Crunch Fitness is its size and equipment. When I first walked in, it was ginormous. It was literally like, it was almost like a warehouse or a factory. The roofs are like triple story. There is equipment everywhere. I literally walked down one side of the gym. Uh, there must have been genuinely about 30 treadmills all in a row. Um, there's a section of the gym that has like a really extensive um, AstroTurf area that you can do warm-ups in. The change rooms are massive. Um, everything in, in this one in particular, I was in the Nutter Wadding one in Victoria. It was It's brand new as well, which really helped too. Um, but everything is really nice and clean and crisp. There are huge amounts of um, weights. There's huge amounts of cardio machines. Um, so just, I was really blown away with the facility itself and how big it was and literally I wasn't ever having to wait for a machine um, because just there's so many pieces of equipment there which is a massive plus. And next up, the third thing I absolutely adored about Crunch Fitness was the vibe. There was a lot of, for me, there was a lot of young people in there. Um, everyone was really happy, everyone was excited, everyone was um, you know, there weren't really that many egos in there either. Now, this was obviously the crunch fitness I went to, so at other crunch fitnesses it might be different, but it just seemed like people were there and they're, most of them were kind of more beginners, they were kind of teenagers, um, and you know, it didn't have this kind of, um, this vibe of arrogance or big lifters that think they're the bee's knees or anything like that. So it was just a super great place if you're just starting out to feel confident and comfortable to kind of find your feet in the gym so it was a really good vibe um, and the thing with crunch fitness is they do actually pride themselves as being um, a gym that's kind of for everybody and a gym that you can be yourself and feel confident and comfortable in so they really definitely delivered on that another massive positive about crunch fitness which again goes along with this culture of you know um, being welcoming and friendly is that if you go for their mid-tier membership you can actually bring a friend to work out with you. Now this is huge and this is one, probably um, kind of the unique selling point of Crunch Fitness because I don't really know of many other gyms that do this. If you're just starting out and you're feeling a little bit nervous about trying to find your feet in the gym, Crunch Fitness is a really good go-to. You can bring a friend um, and you guys can work out together. Now this isn't available on the basic membership, but for their mid-tier, this is a great option if you're just starting out. Next up, some of the cons or the limitations that Crunch Fitness has. Um, and after that, we'll go into the prices and whether Crunch Fitness is right for you. So the first downfall of Crunch Fitness is that in Australia especially, there aren't that many locations, okay? So you'll probably find that they are bigger gyms, um, but there's not that many of them around. So something like Anytime Fitness, you can find them anywhere. Whereas Crunch Fitness, you're probably having to travel like you know half an hour to find um, your nearest Crunch Fitness if you're not close by. And another uh, in particular thing that I found frustrating about Crunch Fitness was that everything was in pounds. So in Australia, we usually use kilos. So that was a little bit frustrating. Not be you know you have to you would get used to it if you were there for a while. Um, but for me, that was something um, kind of going there something to consider. One more limitation of Crunch Fitness is that it isn't open 24 seven. Okay, so I think it opens about 5 a.m. in the morning and then closes, you know, kind of 10 p.m. or so at night. This will vary between uh, locations. But the reality is, when do you really, like some people might be like, oh, that's it for me, I'm not gonna go there then. The reality is, when do you really work out outside of those hours? It's really not the biggest of deals. I feel like 24 seven access or, you know, um, anytime access is kind of a bit of a buzzword and it seems like it's really appealing, but in reality, when are you gonna use it outside of those hours? So yes, it could be looked at as a limitation, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Probably what you've been waiting for is how much is a membership 
at Crunch Fitness and is it worth your money? So the first tier, there are three tiers. First tier is $9.95, then you got $14.95, then you got $19.95. So with the first cheapest tier, this just gives you general uh, gym floor access, okay? So you can work out using any of the equipment, the cardio machines, um, you can use the change rooms, all of that um, for $9.95. Um, you cannot, in this membership, you can't bring a friend, which is what I spoke about earlier, okay? So in this membership, you can only just yourself go. You also will not have access to any of the group fitness experiences, okay? So you can't use any of the classes or anything like that. Next up, you've got the $14.95, the mid tier. In this tier, um, it's a little bit more expensive, but you can bring a friend to a workout, which is a really good benefit we spoke about before. And you also can participate in the group fitness, okay? There are a few other nuances to that tier of membership that you get, um, but they're the main two benefits. Now, the third tier, I don't really think that it's worth paying the extra $19.95. There are a few kind of perks, premier perks that you get. You kind of can use like the massage guns. Um, I think there's like a massage chair you can use. Go and look at the website because it has them in a table on Crunch Fitness. But in my opinion, the $19.95, it's really not that worth it to go for that membership. And most people, if, you're, if you don't like group fitness, you're not gonna bring a friend, probably the basic membership is gonna be more than enough um, for you and your needs. So should you join Crunch Fitness? Again, there are a lot of pros and a few cons to uh, a Crunch Fitness membership, but I think for the price, this is probably one of the best price memberships that you can find, uh, especially their 995 tier. I think it's uh, for the amount of equipment and the, the experience that you're getting, it's an exceptionally great value experience. Um, and then the 1495 membership, yes, it's a little bit more on the pricier side, um, compared to other gyms, but if, if the fact that you can bring a friend with you, I think this is so important for a lot of new gym goers, and I think it will, I think it's just a great option. I think it's really worth um, the money, because you can pretty much split that with a friend at $7.50 um, a week. So that's Crunch Fitness. Hope you got value out of this content. Give it a like if you did, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.